Hi, welcome to Chris Cook for you too. Tonight I'm going to be doing cabbage leaves. I promised this a long time ago and now I've gotten around to where I'm going to do it. It's cold outside, you need something hearty in your stomach. So this is a good meal and I guarantee you, if you love greens, you will grow to love it. So let's get started. Now I'm sitting here at my kitchen table because I really wanted to show you how this is actually done. This is your cabbage that you buy in the store. And normally a lot of people when they go into the store, they take off the outer leaves of the cabbage, they throw them away, and then they just keep the inner leaves of the cabbage. So when you actually purchase your cabbage, your cabbage looks something like like this because you got all these outer leaves on it now a lot of times people will throw them away even the grocery stores will allow you to break off the outer leaves and just put them to the side if that's not what you want well that's the best part of the cabbage and a lot of people really don't know it because you they don't know how to prepare those outer leaves so tonight I'm going to show you how that's done if you go into the grocery store where the cabbages are located you'll see a lot of outer leaves if the leaves look okay like these leaves Take the leaves home. Now you want the outer leaves. You do not want the inside leaves for this particular dish. So these are the outer leaves and I've already taken you know, them off just to save time. And when you get down to where your cabbage starts to look a little bit brighter in color like this, you don't want that because these will take less time to cook and this is not what we're looking for today. Now, I have purchased about this is about three pounds of cabbage leaves and it's only cabbage leaves they're gonna charge you the same price that they charge you for the regular cabbage which was which is probably about 46 cents uh, a pound or something like that and sometimes if you tell them that it's rabbit food you want to give it to your rabbit you can get it for even less than that but 46 cents is not a lot I paid roughly about two dollars maybe right under two dollars for this uh, bag of cabbage leaves and this is gonna cook down just like your greens but it's a fantastic dish now the things that you're going to need, the items that you're going to need in order to prepare your cabbage, I'm trying to sit that over, is going to be green peppers. You're going to need six whole bell peppers. These are bell peppers. I'm going to show you how to cut them up in a minute. You're going to need two tablespoons of sugar. That's all you're going to need. You're going to need a jalapeno pepper, but because mine has to be kid-friendly, I'm not going to use two jalapeno peppers. I had a half one in my refrigerator, so I'm just going to cut up this half one. As always, and I told you before, my favorite item in any type of dishes that I want to be, um, I want that extra flavor, or I want it to have that hearty taste would be Lipton onion two soup mix. So you're going to use one package of Lipton onion soup mix. You're going to use two onions. Now this is for about three to four pounds of the greens. You're going to use two onions and you're going to use a package of bacon. And I'm going to cut this bacon up and I'm going to show you exactly how that's done. Now that's all you're going to need for this dish, but this is a fantastic dish and I know you're going to love it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how to cut up your items. And then I'm going to go away and I'm going to do the rest of the cutting. And then I'm going to come back when I get everything cut up and we're start going to start to prepare this dish. Now all I did was cut my onion in half as you can see and then I just cut it again in half, okay? So that's all you need to do. Make it small slices. You don't need big slices. So make them like, um, see how thin that is? So that's all you need and I'm going to put these in a bowl and I'm going to go away and then I'll finish cutting up those. Next I want to show you how to cut up your green pepper. Now all of this has been washed so you don't have to worry about that. Now you want to cut this green pepper down and you don't want you know the seeds or anything. So you're going to take the green pepper and you're just going to slice it. Okay, and I'm roughly going to do it the same way that I did the onions. I'm just going to slice it and then I'm going to slice it again in half. Put it in my dish. 
and do the same thing for all of them. Now, I have six green peppers over there. I'm going to slice them all up when I go away, and I'm going to come back, and we're going to start to prepare this dish. This is a fantastic dish. The peppers, don't worry about it. You will not get that bell pepper taste. Bell pepper, you know, do have a distinct taste of its own, but you won't get that because once it all cooks down, everything is going to pretty much taste the same. Now, with the jalapeno pepper, this one is fine to have the seeds in it. If you like them spicy, then use a little bit more jalapeno peppers, or you can add some crushed red pepper if you like. If you don't, then you you can just eliminate the uh, jalapeno pepper altogether. So I'm going to cut this down and then I'm going to slice it down. Now I'm so used to doing stuff without gloves. You might need to use gloves because it might irritate your hand if the peppers are very hot. Or you might use it because a lot of times after we finish um, like cutting up something like peppers we forget all about it and the first thing we do if our eye starts to itch we go and stick our hands over in our eye okay so that's the way you would do that now and you can grab the seeds again I'll tell you I'm gonna go away and I'm gonna cut up all of this stuff just for the sake of time I just wanted to show you exactly how to do it so you don't have to worry about that once we get started now once um, you need this bacon and the reason why you need the bacon is because bacon adds a real good taste when you're cooking something of this nature, which is your cabbage leaves. Your cabbage leaves are strong by themselves, but bacon adds a real good taste. Now, you don't have to use a whole pound of bacon, but I'm using a pound of the cheapest bacon that I could find, which is really, really good. And the only thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this bacon up. And my bacon has been sitting out. If you, if the bacon was a little bit colder, it wouldn't cut quite as hard. And this is going to go in my cabbage greens. Now, in addition, now everything that you're going to put in the cabbage leaves, you can put it in all at once. If you have smoked meat that you want to use, if you have... Um, you know, anything that you might want to use for it, you can put it in all at once because the cabbage leaves actually take a little bit longer in order to prepare. So you can just go ahead and cook everything at one time. But because I don't like for my meat to have bones in it, I am cooking a turkey leg and smoked neck bones in a different pot. Once they get done, I'm just going to take them, pull the bones out, and then put it all over in the greens together. Now, you don't have to do that. You don't actually this is all you really need in order for these grains to taste good you don't have to use smoked meat at all but I'm using it because I wanted some meat in my greens so what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow it to cook in a separate pot take the bones off and then I'm going to put it in the greens actually take the same amount of time as your smoked meat takes that's why I said you can put it all in the pot at one time and you don't have to worry about it this dish takes about an hour and a half to make so once you get it in and you get everything in your pot you can go away find something else to do and then you can get back I'm gonna go away and cut up all of this get everything prepared so that we can move to the next step and I'll Hi, be right back I just back. wanted to come back in and show you how to cut up the cabbage because I showed you how to cut up everything but I didn't show you how to cut up the cabbage so since I'm still in the process I'm gonna show you real quick uh, right now all you do is put your cabbage leaves together okay and you know it's better if you turn them all the same way so I got the ends right there so I got them all together and then you take them piece fall off just take it and throw it back in the center and you roll it okay and then when I roll it up I'm gonna slice it Now, when I get all the way to the end where you pop the cabbage leaves off from the whole cabbage, I just take those little end pieces. Instead of cutting them in the beginning, when, when I say that, I mean by taking a knife and cutting this part off. And then doing it, I just wait till I get to the end, and then I just cut it. So once you get it cut, you rolled it up, and then you got it cut. Then you're just going to go down the center, and you're going to cut it. 
And once you go down the center, now this piece was still big, so I'm just going to whack it up. <laughs> and then you take it and you put it in your large bowl that you're putting, you're cooking the rest of your cabbage. So I just wanted to show you that quick, that little quick step before I got through with everything. Okay, I'll be right back. we're back, so let's get started. I've cut up everything, everything is ready, so let's do this. Here I have a pot that I already have on the stove and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my pieces of bacon in and like I told you I already had it on so that's why you can hear that sizzle. Okay. Now once I get my bacon in I'm going to allow this bacon to cook just a little bit so it can start to render up some fat and then once it renders up the fat I'm going to add the onions to that. Okay, now in this pot over here, I told you I wanted to take my meat off of the bone to put it into my pot so I have some smoked neck bones, as I told you, and I have a turkey leg. This is a smoked turkey leg, and as you can see, it's ready to come off of this bone. And I'm going to use the water. I'm just going to take the water, the liquids that it was cooking in, and I'm going to put it over into my pot that I'm going to cook my greens in. Now, I didn't put anything in this pot. The only thing I have in the pot is just the meat. Absolutely no seasoning. And as you know, that smoked meat has a good taste to it. So the smoked meat is going to give off a good flavor to the greens. Now, back to this pot. I hope you can see it because it's smoking up just a little, little bit. Okay, you see a little bit of fat is starting to come off of the onions. I'm not going to add any more liquids. I'm going to add my onions. I'm sorry, a little bit of fat is starting to come off of the bacon. Okay. So I have all of that in. I mean, it's giving off a good flavor. Just think about it. The bacon and the onions mixed together. Now I'm going to allow this to cook just until it's translucent and what, that's going to take maybe about, I don't know, five, six minutes and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how to put the rest of this together. Okay, okay we'll be right back. back. So let's go to the next step. Now as you can see I've taken out the bacon and the onions and as you can see they're translucent and the bacon has a little bit of a curl to it. I left some in the bottom of the pot because I want flavors to from the bacon and the onions to hit the cabbage leaves from every angle, from top to bottom, from bottom to top. So I'm going to put in some of my cabbage leaves. And cabbage leaves cook just like uh, your collard greens. They cook down and then you add more to the pot until you can just, you know, stuff the whole pot. So once I get like half of the greens in here, then I want to take and put some of my onion, oops, some of my bacon. Get that off my stove. There you go. Some of my onions, some of my bacon. Then I want to take and put some of my green peppers that I've already chopped up. Put a layer. Now, like I told you, you really won't taste these green peppers. Green peppers and greens just have, make the taste so good. So that's all you're going to taste. You're not going to taste that distinct flavor from the green peppers. Then I'm going to stuff a little bit more in the pot. Now, as you notice, I have not put any water in. And I'm well aware of that. Then I'm going to put a little bit more of the onions and the bacon on top. Then I'm going to put some more of the green peppers, a layer on top. And it looked like a lot, but that's six green peppers, like I told you, and they're all sliced up. And it's going to make it have a good paper, uh, taste to it. Now, I'm going to put in a little bit of my jalapeno peppers. I'm going to add to this, trying to reach past the camera, 
this is my sugar that I showed you at first. It's just two tablespoons full. And what that do is it takes out the bitterness of the grains. Now I have not put my smoked meat back in yet, but this is the flavored water for me cooking my smoked meat. This is about maybe three cups of water. Okay. And that's just a little bit of the turkey. Now, I'm going to turn this up to a little bit past medium heat. Here is my smoked meat that's sitting here. I have not put it in my pot yet. I'm going to put the top on this. I'm going to let it boil down. And then when it boils down, I'm going to add the rest of these grains. Right, and I'll be back. back. Let's see where we're at right now. Now, this was the first part of the grains. And as you can see, they didn't cook down a whole lot. So what I want to do is kind of tilt them to the side. And when I tilt them to the side, I'm going to put some more greens in there in my pot. Okay. And then I'm going to rotate it by taking the, un you know, the greens that have been in the pot longer. I'm going to put them on the top. And I'm going to put the ones that I'm just putting in on the bottom. Now. I know a lot of people say, well, you didn't put them at the same time, so they're not going to kind of drop them greens everywhere. Didn't put them at the same time, so they're not going to cook. They're not going to be completely cooked. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. Now, this time, I should be able to get all of my greens in. And it was just a two-step process. Remember, I put in a little bit. I let them cook down for about 15 minutes. And then once they cook down... I just take and I put the rest of them in there. Okay. Now, the rest of my little jalapeno pepper in. Now I'm going to put the rest of my green peppers in. And everything fit in this pot. <laughs> and then I'm going to put in my all time favorite stapler in the world Lipton Onion Soup Mix. One pack. And then I'm going to take the balance. I just took the balance of my bacon and my onions and I put it in the container with my smoked meat. Now, my smoked meat was already almost done. I got it to the point where I could just take the meat and just pull it from the bones. So at that point, it's really done enough. But as you can see, I'm putting the smoked meat on top. And I'm not gonna stir this for a while. This is a smoked neck bone. And on the stove. Now, I have everything in my pot. I'm going to put the top back on it and I'm going to allow this to cook for about one hour. And then I'm going to take it off. It's a tip I want to tell you, when you're cooking your greens, make certain that you put some salt in the water because what happens is that salt will pull off any little bug that may be on your greens. So make certain when you're doing the washing part of it that, and I normally wash mine about three times, but when you're doing the washing part of it, make certain that you put a little bit of salt in the water. We'll get okay, back. we're back and the cabbage leaves are done, so I just wanted to show you what they look like. Alrighty, let me cut this pot off. Okay, I've cut the pot off. And here they are, I'm gonna dish them up in this bowl. And I know you can see that meat all through it. And this is turkey and smoked neck bones that are in here. And as you can see, they cook down in a pot just like I told you they would. And I've tasted these greens. These greens are fantastic. And when I say greens, you know I mean cabbage leaves, but they are in the green family. But these are fantastic. I didn't have to add anything, not even salt. Alrighty. 
So there you go. I've dished them up. Just to show you what they look like, let me put a little bit more meat on top. Turn my pot up. Get this that I dropped on the side of the thing. Now you know how I am about a bowl. I'm a stickler. And there they are. Those are cabbage leaves with smoked meat. Well, it's smoked chicken and smoked neck bones. Okay, that's all I have for you tonight. I appreciate you guys. I'm glad that I'm back, and thank you for watching. Chris Cook for you, too.